Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and use a bungee cord lock perms for your bungee cord network. And uh, this is going to be uh, setting up groups and permission nodes for bungee cord plugins. So you do need to have some sort of bungee cord network in order for this to work. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So in order to find bungee cord plugins, you want to come to your Spig MC, go under the resources tab, and then there's three categories. Uh, typically it's universal, bungee proxy, and bungee spigot. So uh, those typically have bungee cord plugins, and uh, the ones I'm going to be using for today's video is going to be ultra staff chat. This is uh, for bungee cord as well as advanced band. So uh, those are the two plugins I'm going to be using as well as the luck perms bungee cord, of course. So uh, those are my plugins. So you want to come to your bungee cord server, and then you want to place those specific uh, bungee cord plugins in the plugins folder. So as I said, I'm using Ultra Staff Chat, Buck Perms Bungee Cord, as well as Advanced Band, and as you see, they are already loaded. So once you install it, go ahead and restart your server, and you're pretty much good to go. In game, to get started with Luck Perms Bungee Cord, you want to do LPB, and this is going to be pretty much the same commands if you uh, are familiar with normal Spigot Luck Perms, and we need to go ahead uh, to our console and add this uh, permission node to my users. So I'm going to head and switch over to my console real quick. So in console, we need to do LPB user and then the user. Uh, so that would be my in game name, so Soul Striker. Uh, and then we'll do a permission or perm set, and then we'll do a luck perms dot and star uh, or asterisk, and that will give us all the permission nodes for luck perms only. So go ahead and uh, hit enter. And now, if we go switch back, as you see, it says we are now uh, enabled to have all the luck perms permissions. So we can do LPB and then help, and that should list all the commands. So as you see, that is running successfully. So now, uh, if we do LPE uh, list groups, we can see the groups that we have are default, and uh, when you first load in Bungie Cord, uh, there are default permissions uh, that are added, uh, but uh, Luck Perms does not recognize that, so you need to add, uh, manually add those. Uh, if we do like slash server right now, um, as you see, I don't have permission to execute the command, uh, so we need to add those permission nodes to my to the default group. So to do that, we can do LPB, and then uh, uh, group, and then the group name, which is the default, and then we'll do the permission, and then set, and then now we need to add the bungee cord uh, dot command dot server and this is gonna uh, be able to have your default users do the slash server so now if I do the slash server as you see it now brings it up and we can connect to the different types of servers uh, another command that uh, people use I don't know if uh, default users use it but is slash g list and that will uh, show the list of specific uh, people and the number of people on the server so we can go ahead and actually add that as well so we can do command and then list and that will be in the default group so now if we do a g list as you see, it tells you uh, how many people are on each specific server. So uh, those are the permission nodes that you can add. And then, so say you have some sort of like friend uh, bungee cord uh, plugin that uh, you would need to add those permission nodes for that friend bungee cord plugin, uh, and then you would just add it to your default group. So that is as simple as that. So now I'm going to add uh, two groups, and that's going to be the moderator group and the admin group. So we can do LPB and then uh, create group, and then whatever group name that you want. So I'm going to start off with mod. So something that is really helpful is called an inheritance and basically uh, since we created our mod group uh, we want the mod group to inherit all the permission nodes from the default user uh, so that is just really helpful when making a uh, multiple group so uh, this is like a hierarchy list and so the admin will inherit from the mod and then the mod will inherit from the defaults so we'll do LPB group uh, mod and then we're going to go ahead and set a parent so we'll do parent and then we'll just go ahead and set and then we'll set this to default. So now it now only inherits from the default group. So say you had like multiple uh, groups, uh, instead of you adding it to set, you would just do add, uh, and then you could add multiple inheritance and it, it wouldn't uh, clear it like it did here. So once that has been added, we're gonna add uh, some uh, staff chat permissions. So I'm gonna be using this ultra staff chat permission plugin and here is all the permissions. So we can go ahead and add the rest of these permission nodes. So we have the talk one, toggle and mute, uh, so we can go ahead and add those to my mod group. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch back over here. So we'll do LPB group mod, and then we'll do a permission, and then set, and then we can do the staff chat, and then dot 
talk. So that will be uh, be able for them to talk in the staff chat. And then we also do dot C, and that will be able uh, for my mod users to be able to see the staff chat. And then we also do the toggle just like so. All right. So now we have the mod group. We have the staff permission nodes added. Now let's go ahead and, and make an admin group. So do LPB and then uh, create group, and then we'll call this admin. And then now we can do the same thing where we add an inheritance. So we'll do the group admin, and we'll add the inheritance. So we'll do a parent and then add and then we can go ahead and do the mod just like so so since we since the mod is an inheritance from the default all the permission nodes that we added to default and the mod group are going to be inherited in the admin group so we don't have to add those same permissions to each group which is super super helpful uh, so for my admin group I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ban uh, ban permission nodes so we can go and do add in uh, and then permission so I'm going to set some ban permission nodes and that is going to be with an advanced band so if we come over to the advanced band uh, spigot page as you see here's all the commands that we can add so there's the kick there is the band so we have like perm band temp band and so all these are the permission nodes that you need to add uh, to your admin group or to your model group if you want them to be able to globally ban someone or kick someone so make sure you add these ones so for example here's the one that i'm going to be adding ab.band.perma back minecraft go ahead and paste that and we can go ahead and add that permission node to that admin group so something that is really nice uh within log perms is a built-in web editor and to do that we can do lpb editor that will send you a link to your online editor and this is really nice and uh it just makes everything easier to add commands and groups so if we come over here here's the groups that are listed and we can go ahead and select my admin group so as you see there is the permission node that we just added so it, this one is so helpful where we can go ahead and add more permission nodes as you see if we go ahead and select uh, the permission node these are all the ones that we have right here which is pretty cool so we can go ahead and add like the the ip bam dot perma and then we can do like the kick uh kick dot use and we can go ahead and like add those to the admin group and then if we come over to the advanced band we can also do like uh do like a mute so we can go ahead and like copy that i permission node and we can go ahead and paste it in there you can uh, do multiple all right here so once you're done just go ahead and then click the add button and make sure you guys save it so make sure it saves it will give you a link to apply the edits so then we can go back in game and just go ahead and do the apply edits and boom there we go we just added four permission nodes it's just like that within a matter of seconds so uh the web editor makes it so easy to do that so uh now we need to go ahead and add ourselves to a specific group so we can go do lpb uh user and then my username and then now we can go ahead and do parent and then set and then we can go ahead and set uh my user to whatever group that we have so uh for example the mod one if you go ahead and enter that uh if i do the slash ban as you see i don't have the permission node but if i do like the staff chat i can see the staff chat now I, and i can also uh, toggle it because that is the uh, permission nodes that we added for our mod group uh but now if we go ahead and add uh add myself to the admin group uh, we can go ahead and add myself there and if we do the slash ban as you see i do now have permission node for that and i can also do the mute and i can do all that and the ip ban that we added so there we go and just just like that we are done so that is how you guys use a luck perms for bungee cord hope you guys did enjoy hopefully it was helpful if you guys have any questions for me leave them down below or you can come join my discord as well i will see you guys in the next video peace out